Hello, welcome back. With all this recent rain, mushrooms are popping up all over. Um, what we have here is some wonderful species of mushrooms from the Pacific Northwest, Northern California, Oregon. Um, let's start with chanterelles. Known for their wavy, meaty-like tops, the entire mushroom is edible from the stem to the cap. Um, really a great, also called golden chanterelle, okay? These mushrooms are sponge-like almost, so you really have to be careful with the, with the rain or with you know, getting them wet because they will absorb all that moisture. But an absolute delicious mushroom, best friends with lobster, corn, um, those kind of, also you, know, you can make jams out of them due to their texture or even pickle them. They really work well as far as that goes. Next is the Matsutake mushroom or the pine mushroom. Okay, you're gonna have an umbrella-like cap here, real thick skin, meaty stem. Okay, these get their name from, pine mushroom get their name from the light pine flavor and smell that they emit when you, uh, when you cook them. Here, smell. Okay, also has a uh, really good, like I said, I wouldn't do much with this mushroom, I'd keep it pretty simple. Maybe, uh, you know, white rice, a light broth, and just kind of, you know, grill it, or even just like, you know, slightly saute it, but this is a really delicate mushroom, so I wouldn't do too much with that. Um, chanterelle family as well as the hedgehog, also called the sweet tooth, or the wood urchin mushroom. Okay, these, easy to identify by the uh, downward tooth, like protrusions on the bottom of the cap, okay? And uh, wild foragers really like to keep these a secret because uh, they pop up in the same spot every year, so they're really easy to find and easy to identify as well, so that's always a best kept secret when these come around. Um, finally, we have the black trumpet mushroom, okay? Maybe one of my favorite mushrooms. This is what you'd call a really, truly wild mushroom. They uh, resist any kind of domestic cultivation. Um, they're not, they don't, you don't find them always under trees too, like a lot of these other mushrooms. So they're a little bit harder to find. This black, you know, so they kind of like nice camouflage, really blend in with the uh, surrounding, you know, earth. So a harder mushroom to find. Pretty labor intensive. As you can see, let's try to find one here that's not, um, broken is like that's where they get the trumpet shape they're completely hollow all the way through well what that does is collect sometimes pine needles or different dirt things like that so you really want to take um, good care of cleaning them so they can be pretty labor intensive but uh, really forest smelling wonderful chewy texture one of my favorite mushrooms so um, that's what's hot this week in the cooler